Okay, in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about automation. Automation is a really cool effect process that you can use in your music production to do really cool edits. And what automation really does is it just moves things like your volume knobs and your effect switches in different parts of the song so you don't have to continuously do it while you're editing. And it's pretty easy to do so and I'll show you right now. So in order to get to automation, you click this button right here, the squiggly line button, and then automation will pop up. So there's a couple automation options you have. You can have pan, sweeps, and volumes. So what the pan does is it will move your, your audio signal left or right. So if you want your, your bass to be hard left, you can pan the automation to To be hard left and let's see what that sounds like that's so, all uh, hard right hard left in the middle if you wanted to delete these changes press delete and you're right back to where you started from before you can also Delete the automation. You can go to sweeps. So what sweeps are basically just gives it a a swishing sound, like a muffled type of sound, and it sounds really good on on vocals and different instruments if you know how to use it. And let's just make a triangle. I'm just drawing these things in, and I'll play it out and let's see what it sounds like. <laughs> So the muffle sound is more like a, a filter that changes the frequencies from low to high in, in different ways. So all the way down is low, and then it rises up to high frequencies, then it goes back down, comes back up to high, regular frequencies, and then it just stays in the low frequencies from there. So I'm going to exit out, delete this automation, and then I'm going to go to volume. Now, so if you want to change the volume on your instrument, so you want it to fade out, this is how you do it. You can go to your auto automation, you create your fade, test it out. And start fading. If you want to bring it back up, that's completely up to you. But this is how you create fades in automation. Okay, press delete. And you can do this with any track. They all have automation settings. So that's how to use automation in Soundtrap. See you in the next video.